A person in environment uh, refers to the idea that social workers are able to better understand their clients by referring to the environment they are put in or have put themselves in over time. Uh, understanding where they are in their lives and what surrounds them is one of the best theories in helping each client um, as they all have their own problems in different parts of their life. Um, they may be in a situation right now that they might not be in um, the next week, the next month. Um, this may be one of the worst situations they've been in. So understanding, you know, kind of the uh, and the concept of being in their shoes and how we can benefit them based off the environment they have been put in or the environment they've put themselves into. Uh, understanding the person and environment is helpful in, in uh, ways of figuring out people and their issues. Uh, understanding how people can respond is key for social workers. So putting yourself, again, in their shoes uh, makes it much easier to make change for that individual really understanding what they're experiencing, their emotions that they're expressing to you as a social worker that, you know, giving, um, uh, they're showing a lot of empathy for, you know, the problems that they've had. Um, so us just really understanding, trying to get a grasp on what they're explaining to us um, and providing the best solutions for that reasoning that they have uh, during the part of life that they are currently experiencing. Um, the biggest chapter that pertains um, for the significance for me is definitely chapter 13 um, when uh, it is talked about uh, violence, uh, about violence victims and criminal justice. Uh, the reason is for this is because I am a uh, major in criminology and criminal justice at Arizona State. Um, so having the idea of social work implemented throughout the criminal justice system helps me move forward into my career. Um, significantly, again, um, having the basic skills of just the policies, ethics, values that are brought through social work, um, have a dramatic, will make a dramatic difference moving forward for myself, especially as I begin to get into higher level classes. Um, I currently will be taking higher level social work classes uh, for my senior year um, and the rest of my junior year. So really just understanding, you know, the basics, um, uh, how social work is impl implemented through my um, uh, courses moving forward. Um, I definitely did not understand how big of a role social work played throughout criminology. So I am very happy that I decided to take this class. Um, it's brought, again, a lot of significance to me, a lot of skills that I will be using again um, for my career moving forward. And even if I decided to, to differ from my career after graduation or whatever I did decide to do, um, social work is so big and complex and um, the different, you know, how it helps out the world, small communities, everything. It's definitely a skill that I'm very happy that I was able to gain this semester. Um, so for secondary traumatic stress, um, this is the cause of dealing with other patients over time that eventually takes the toll on the helping worker. Um, this usually applies heavily to social workers, um, especially when um, you have a list of patients that need help dealing with a lot of different issues, different problems, um, some problems that may even be um, towards us that we, we know we've had in the past that we've had now. Um, so, you know, just making sure that you take care of your issues um, understanding that you can take time for yourself is crucial, um, especially if it uh, begins to affect you heavily in your day-to-day -day life. Um, burnout, another thing, uh, is a problem that we do not take time to deal with, our problems uh, in which we don't make time for ourselves. Uh, usually burnout occurs when we are focusing too much time on one thing. Um, in this case, if we're using social work, where you know we're we're spending too much time on our social our work of helping patients that we're not helping ourselves, whether that's not taking time out of part of our day when we're not on the clock, not taking breaks throughout the day, not making time to do other activities outside of social work. Um, in this instance, it would cause eventual burnout. Um, this usually will lead to no motivation, loss of discipline, um, and can ultimately result in quitting. Um, whatever that um, job or position may be. Um, again, making time for ourselves is crucial, uh, especially when we're helping out a lot of patients within work. We need to make time for our self-care. Um, self-care is essential for personal growth and having the opportunity to be in the moment. A lot of times we try to take um, you know, no breaks and not make time for ourselves because we're so focused on trying to better other people because it makes us feel good. But at the same time, we need to make time for ourselves because, again, we're humans as well. And we need to know that we have problems, that things need to be dealt with. Uh, and if we don't make time for ourselves, that's going to, again, make us lose touch with, you know, our reality. And um, we're not going to be able to do our job effectively of helping out other people when we can't help ourselves. 
Um, so in order to make this happen, we need to take time out of our day to do just other activities, whether it's in the morning, um, taking time out of your day to just have a cup of coffee, read, whatever it may be, to get our mind off of um, work-related um, uh, ideas or stuff that we have planned for the day, for the week, for the month. Um, also many implementing our breaks at work. A lot of people try to go straight through the other day, no breaks, um, to get the work done. There needs to be a time, again, especially implemented within social work, we're dealing with patients 24 seven, trying to help them out. We need to have a gap in between our work days so that we are able to kind of rejuvenate, get an idea, calm down, relax, and then go back to work and do what we have to do. But having these breaks are um, essential for uh, growth, not only for us, um, but for the patients, you know, having that um, calmness that, uh, you know, kind of re restart gives us the best opportunity to give the best advice for these people that we are helping. Um, and then just reflecting back on the semester, um, like, like I stated earlier, the field of social work is extremely interesting uh, and it plays a part in nearly every part of the world. Um, to, you know, within large communities, small communities, um, it's all over. Um, social work is needed to run every society, in my opinion, in every community in order to grow and develop emotionally uh, and physically. Um, it's something that is definitely needed throughout every um, small area, big area, whatever it may be. Um, ways I have grown, uh, feeling emo has been, you know, feeling emotion for others. Um, and understanding what they are truly, t uh, you know, talking about it, trying to explain their emotions. Um, I think the biggest thing was just kind of putting myself in other people's shoes. Uh, I think that's something that's big and it's talked about a lot within social work. So just getting an idea of the people that you're trying to work with, um, whether, you know, if, even if I'm not doing social work, I'm still having to have these conversations with people at times, you know, of how they may see something, how they may feel something. Um, and, you know, I have one perspective on it, but understanding other people's perspective is um, definitely something that I have taken from this class, um, you know, and I will take moving forward. Um, professionally, I would say that um, the biggest thing I have known for me that I'm going to be taking from this class, again, is just um, the impact that uh, we, we have on other people that, you know, especially that look up to us to kind of, um, help them out, um, moving forward. Um, you know, you, you can't just judge someone off of a conversation, one conversation, you know, um, you know, really getting to know that person, understanding, you know, what they're going through, what, what's, um, what's on their mind is something that we need to really just focus on. And it helps again, us grow as well as them. Um, you know, all these tools, again, that I talked about, I, uh, I definitely will use. Um, whether it's during um, my time of uh, studying criminology and criminal justice throughout the social work field, throughout my different criminology focused classes, and then again after graduation, um, it's uh, social work is so big, and uh, all of these different uh, tools that I'll learn throughout higher level classes as well through social work um, will have a dramatic impact on my future. Um, that's all. Thank you.